Main engine start. August 25, 2003. NASA's Space Infrared Telescope Facility, eventually known as the Spitzer Space Telescope, was launched. Spitzer is the largest, most advanced infrared observatory sent into space. It has the keen ability to see through dust, allowing us to see many interesting things that until now were hidden. So being able to see through that dust, we, we look down into stellar nurseries where stars are being formed. We look down into planetary nurseries where planets are being formed. So there's a lot of absolutely crucial processes that are masked in our universe by dust. And uh, in a sense, uh, we could call Spitzer the dust buster in the sense that it gets down through the dust uh, and allows us to see a lot of these secret hidden processes that are very, very important um, that you can't see with other types of telescopes. Within the engineering world, you know, if you can make something that does the job and does it simply and cleverly, uh, to me, that's, that's elegant. And, and I think that's what, that's what uh, by and large, Spitzer is. An elegant eye exposing celestial objects too cold, too dusty, or too far away to be seen till now, revealing spectacular galaxies embryonic stars and stellar incubators, uncovering secrets about planet formation, and even bringing us a few surprises. The Spitzer Telescope was the first direct detection of light from another, from a planet orbiting another star. That's a pretty big gift. It's particularly significant because by being able to directly detect radiation, we've opened up a field in which we'll be able to characterize planets to learn something about them. With a five-year planned mission for Spitzer, scientists are making the most out of their observations. I think it's good because it keeps us focused. It keeps us really focused on um, making sure that everything we do is, is to do the very best we can because we know we only have a finite line. We've got to extract the most science from this phenomenal capability as rapidly as we can. Uh, I always tell my kids, do something that you enjoy, something that's fun. It still is, is off, often amazing to me to, to say that uh, you know, people pay me to do things that are fun. And I you know, will have done a lot of really exciting science. Exploring the cosmos with Spitzer, entertaining and tremendously exciting.